Hope you are all staying healthy and safe. In this video, I will be performing chi-square test using Excel. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see similar videos in future, please subscribe to my channel. In this video, I'm using an example of an advertisement reaching buyers and non-buyers. For example, if an advertisement firm is claiming that the advertisement reached both buyers and non-buyers in equal proportion, we can verify the firm's claim by performing this simple chi-square test. For this chi-square test, the null hypothesis is the proportion of both buyers and non-buyers are equal and the alternative hypothesis is the proportion of buyers and non-buyers are not equal. For the absorbed value, I'll put 266 for buyers and for non-buyers, I'll put 334. So total number of observed sample size is equals sum of these two values, hence it's 600. For the expected value, it will be equals proportion multiplied by total number of sample proportion multiplied by total number of sample and similarly proportion multiplied by total number of sample now we have observed and expected values so now we can go ahead and calculate the p-value in order to calculate p-value, I will use equals chi-square test function. So after chi-square test, we have to select the actual range, which is the observed values, and then expected range, which is our expected values, and I'll type in enter. So the p-value is 0 0.00550173, which is less than our alpha value of 0 0.05 hence it lies in the rejection region uh, since when p-value is less than alpha we reject the null hypothesis um, in this case uh, we reject the null hypothesis and um, Our alternative hypothesis would be true, which is proportion of buyers and non-buyers are not equal. And in order to calculate the test statistic, we can use chi-square.inv.rt function. So the probability, we will get it from the p-value and the degree of freedom would be total number of rows minus 1 which is 1 and then enter so our test statistic is or the chi-square value in this case is 7.70666667 and our for the critical value we will use equals chi-square.inv.rt the proportion 0.5 comma degrees of freedom would be 1 again so our critical value is 0 0.45 in this case if you look at this uh, diagram the critical value would be 0 0.45 and the test statistic chi-square value would lie here in the rejection region hence we reject the null hypothesis uh, in this case as well Hope you like this video and hope this video helped you um, to understand and calculate chi-square using Excel. Again, um, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you like this video. And please uh, do subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you.